So, so I have this example here to explain search space. Okay, can, can you hold this? <laughs> okay, uh, I'll just randomly take a card. Okay, if, if I ask you which card I took, how are you going to find out? What? Process of elimination. How do you, how are you going to eliminate? Like, organize the cards that she has right here. Yeah. How, how are you going to do this? How? Look at the one, right? You can look at these cards? Yeah, you can look yeah. at that. Yeah. You can look at them and see which one's not there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll help her. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> how are you going to find out? Separate them into the four. So, yeah, separate them into the three. What, why you are separated there? So we can see which one's not there. It's faster. We're grouping them. Yeah. Yes, yes, that's the, that's the principle behind it, but they are doing it uh, empirically. But why, why they have to separate? Why, they can just so count it directly, right? No, if they count it directly, it's not going to tell them what specific card you have. It'll tell them that a card's missing. Uh, That's not going to tell them what card it is. Well, if you if you watch the <coughs> a, a movie Rayman, you will know some people. Five <laughs> hearts. Yeah. Yes. How did you find out? <laughs> but there is a better way to find it. Okay, so, so you have put it uh, by the color. No, 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 don't, don't, don't put it back. You have put it by color, right? Yeah. So you can, you can, right, you can put it on the table. Uh, and diamond. Right. So, and then you just compare, well, if you have a very good eye, which, <laughs> you can see which stack missing a card, right? Yeah. If you do what? Presumably, <laughs> this one is. Presumably, you have, a, you have much better eye. And then you just count which one missing. So, so, so you, first, you first pick one out of four, see so which one missing one. That's four choice. And then you count how many hearts, which one is missing hearts. That's one out of 13. So, so basically, you go over. Uh, <coughs> so, if you want to find out. The card this way, you have a well of a four choice to start with. You start with four choice, four stack, and then you just pick another 13. So you only need to look for 17 possibility to find which card is missing. But you can also you can also just look at the every one of them, and that will be a 52 possibility to, to search with. Right? If you don't do this, you have 52 possibilities to search this. So basically, you, if you this, do that the same thing, same task, the possibilities they are all here. You just look at it in a different way, you are doing it much faster. Right? So, so this basically is also what the blast is doing. There are, there are so many genes in GenBank well, in theory, you can look at every one of them. <coughs> but Blast is looking at the signature and doing it much faster. Yeah. And so does Google. Google, Google didn't. Uh, so this, so this one is is an unorganized data structure. This one is an organized data structure. That's a key difference between the two. And if you can organize your data, basically this. If you can organize your data in a smarter way. Like Google does, so you can beat the other competitors. If you if your data structure is more optimized than other company does, you can make much, you can do it much faster. Okay. So. <laughs> so, so this is basically the concept of a search space class. Now, let's talk about sequence analysis. Uh, yeah, start on the next one.